Hey, you dropped this. B cells, did you really think that depleting you with rituximab was enough? Affecting also your healthy B cell colleagues? Of course not. ANCA associated vasculitis patients suffer from a rare systemic autoimmune disease which affects small sized blood vessels, mainly in lungs and kidneys, causing inflammation. The characteristic presence of autoantibodies or ANCAs in circulating blood masked the pathogenic role of B cells until the benefits of rituximab were tested. Now, knowing that they are crucial, we need to study their intrinsic mechanisms. We can study most B cell populations in blood samples where we will elicit the affected signaling pathways in order to target only pathogenic B cells. However, the most differentiated stage of B cells, called plasma cells, can produce ANCAS even after rituximab treatment. The problem here, well, they are more difficult to study as they reside only in lymph nodes and bone marrow. Luckily, we'll soon obtain both kinds of samples from patients and we'll try to find new targets in their signaling pathways. Comparing B cells and their mechanisms from healthy donors and patients in the three compartments, we will find new targets that may allow for more directed therapies in the future. Oh, thank you! I didn't learn about this disease in my autoimmunity class. Could you tell me more? Well, I'm late for my conference, but please come. I'll answer your questions then. I will, thanks. So great that you dropped your notebook.